Hi guys, today we're making ban phuong. Ban phuong is a Vietnamese rice crepe filled with minced pork and woodier mushrooms. It's drizzled with Vietnamese fish sauce, it has cucumber, fresh herbs, and it's topped with jia lo, which is Vietnamese ham. This is one of my favorite dishes. It's so light, it's so tasty, but I'm not gonna lie, this dish is so hard to make. It took me a while to get right, so if you're up for the challenge, go for it. If not, don't. To make the rice flour mixture, add 200 grams of tapioca flour, 200 grams of rice flour, then add 1.5 liters of water, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of canola oil. Mix that together using a whisk or a mixer and then let it rest for at least 30 minutes. Soak half a cup of wood air mushrooms with warm water for at least 15 minutes. Drain it and then chop up the mushrooms into small pieces. Finally, chop up one peeled onion as well as two peeled garlic cloves. Add one tablespoon of canola oil into a hot pan and saute the onions and the garlic. Add the wood ear mushrooms, saute it and then place it aside. Add one tablespoon of canola oil and stir fry one pound of minced pork until brown. Combine the pork with the onion, garlic and wood ear mushrooms and place it aside. By now it should have been at least 30 minutes since we rested the rice flour mixture. Pour out two cups of the impurities on top and replace it with two cups of cold water and mix that together. This is our Ban Gung station. It's important to have a good setup to make everything easier once we start steaming. You'll see that we have a board in the middle, cooking utensils on the left, paper towels, the meat mixture, a place to put oil, a brush, and the rice flour mixture close to the stove. Add five tablespoons of oil to a bowl and also brush the board with some oil to grease it. To steam ban gung, turn on the stove to medium heat, brush the pan with oil, stir the rice flour mixture thoroughly and then use a ladle to bring the mixture to the pan. Slightly tilt the pan in a circular motion to make sure the mixture covers the pan completely and then cover the pan for 90 seconds. After 90 seconds, remove the lid and flip the rice crepe onto the board. It should fall out in one piece. Look how beautiful and silky that looks. While the rice crepe cools down, wipe the pan clean with a paper towel. Next, place the meat mixture in the middle of the rice crepe in a straight line and then Fold each side of the rice crepe inwards on top of the meat mixture. Try and keep the rice crepe intact and in one piece as much as you can. Repeat the process until you've finished all of the meat mixture. This is going to take some time, but you should be able to make around 10 rice crepes. Not all of them are going to be perfect or even edible, so don't worry if you don't get it right every single time. The last part of the preparation is to slice up some jia lo, which is Vietnamese ham, and then also slice up the cucumber and get the bean sprouts and Vietnamese mint ready. To finish making the dish, top it with bean sprouts, sliced cucumber, Vietnamese mint, and jia lo. And lastly, drizzle with Vietnamese fish sauce. And there you have it, ban gong. Definitely worth it.